The instructions asked you to make a complete DNA strand and it gave you some code. And the code that it gave you was A, G, T, C, C, T, A, G. I have these color coded on here um, and I'll stick with the same colors because I don't know how well the letters will actually show up on these cards. But uh, when you created your DNA strand, it said to create the left side of the strand with this code. So this would be the left side of your DNA strand. Now, obviously this isn't a complete DNA strand. It's only one half of a DNA strand. You were supposed to do a complete one. So you should have ended up with this. So another strand coming across with the matching base pairs that we learned about last week. So you should have had on the other side T, C, A, G, G, A, T, C. Because remember, A goes with T, G goes with C. So this right now is what your current DNA strand should look like. If it doesn't look like this, go ahead and rearrange your DNA strand so it does look like this and make sure that you attach your base pairs to the deoxyribose phosphate string um, because you're, you don't want them being loose here in a minute. We're going to do some other things with them. You can use tape. I used uh, staples. You can use clothespins, paper clips, whatever you have around that you can get them attached with.